Boy, howdy. I learn something new every day. Oh, what's this mess? Um, it's a bit of a fixture for drilling holes at approximately 15 degrees. Why would I want to do that? And why is it that size? 30 millimeters. Because I have been informed this lovely wife of mine needs a shelf for her essential oil collection. Guys, this, this is the essential oil collection of men. Right on. So how do you arrive at this size of hole, that angle, rather than say this angle or this size of hole? The idea is this will be a shelf mounted in the normal plane and the goods will present themselves quite easily to read and be organized. So each shelf will be like that. That is a 15 degree angle. The steeper angles prove not to be so desirable. Look like too much slopey. There are some larger type vessels. I don't know anyway. I don't know. This was a little too deep. You can't read the product. So after a lot of monkeying around, I got the approval from the supervisor to proceed with this design. Let's see how it turns out. Alrighty? Alright, let's pop some holes. I hope you don't find this too boring. Yeah, baby. Yeah, gotta keep the clamp tight. You, gotta, you don't want to fly out of there. That uh, counter-rotational force there. Alright. Now that would be boring to watch all these holes. Steven Spielberg, but maybe you enjoyed that shot. Of course, I haven't seen it yet, but I got one I wanted out of the deal. Let's commence to commensurate. Yeah. <laughs> 
see the saw blade left a little uh, waviness in the bottom of the cut that's because the alternating bevel so what I'm doing I'm just scraping it out with the chisel alrighty <laughs> let's wrap this up what the hell did you miss I left out parts of the video ah, come on guys I'm not gonna bore you to death anyway here's a little joint we were cutting on the table saw Picking away at it, I did screw one of them up. It was too wide, even for glue and sawdust, to make me look better than I deserve. And I scrapped that one out and made another. The whole intent here was just to make something quick and customizable. You need a Forstner bit, or you could use even just a regular inexpensive uh, drill bit used for wood augering. Um, I used oak, you could use pine. I mean, come on, this doesn't need to be heavy duty. I had some scrap oak sitting around, but the intent was to do something different and having the bottles tilt back so you could see the labels and, you know, kind of tilted and also affords the opportunity to make something in the, this direction. The intent is to put this here so I'm going to sit. All right, so the, the, the intent is, it's actually trapped in here. You see the, the back here, that would be against the wall. Let's say you have a camper or you live in a hell of a seismic zone and you don't want the bottle tipping forward and you want it to get captured. Well, something like this, when the shelves are spaced just so, you rotate it around and pull it out. I probably overthink stuff way too much. That's what my doctor says. Ah just kidding about that anyway I finished it with some uh, oil based uh, fair thing it looks fine um, like I said this is just something quick you could make the gift giving season is upon us and you know what do something with your hands it's something that is a skill you will have with you the rest of your life you can share with the next generation and People enjoy receiving gifts, as long as they're not too cobbled together, which I have made, and I will not share them with you. They have been burned. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.